So, you just watched the end. If you're anything like me, you only understood about half of it, and were more than likely very confused sitting there in your cinema seat. Well, fret not. I'm here to help. Tenet is Christopher Nolan's 12th feature film, if my math is correct, and by far the most confusing. He's known for his love of complex plots, but boy, this is on another level. Most likely for the first half of the movie you were so confused, you might have missed a few details. It also doesn't help that these Americans are constantly mumbling. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Spoilers ahead. Right, so this guy, Andre Sater, is trying to end the world. Huh, put like that, it sounds pretty generic. Anyways, his goal is to assemble nine parts of an algorithm which will reverse the entropy of the entire world basically destroying it. The algorithm was originally constructed in the future but sent back to the present to be hidden here. Still with me? Good. Now, our friend Andre, he's got a terminal illness and wants to take the world with him. Luckily for him, there's a group of people in the future who want exactly that too. Why? No clue, don't ask me. So, they support Andre with information and gold. Okay, cool. Now we know what the bad guys are up to, let's dissect the end. In the final battle, the good guys attempt what they call a temporal pincer movement. Half of them move forward in time, half goes backward. This is why there's a red team and a blue team in the epic battle that's going on. When the protagonist enters the room where the algorithm is kept, a few things happen. First off, the door is locked and a henchman, Andre's henchman, hangs a walkie-talkie on the door. Whilst Andre is talking, the protagonist notices a dead soldier on the ground. From his backpack hangs a little red string. Then, Andre orders the henchman to kill the protagonist. He walks over to shoot him, but the dead soldier reawakens and takes the henchman's bullet to the face. We realize that the dead soldier was inverted. His entropy was going backwards, relative to the protagonist. The door swings open and the protagonist defeats the henchman. He takes the algorithm and is saved just in time by Neil. They divide up the algorithm and then Neil says he has to go. The protagonist wants to know who Neil is and how he knew so much about the mission and who he works for. Neil turns to him and says, it was you all along. Basically, the protagonist's future self created the tenant organization and employed Neil. This is why Neil says, this is the end of a beautiful friendship to me. He has been friends with the protagonist's future self for very long. Then he turns around and leaves. As he's leaving, we see a red string hang from his backpack. With shock, we realize Neil is the inverted soldier that took the bullet to the face to save the protagonist. That's pretty much all you need to know. The protagonist has been working for himself all the time and he created Tenet, he's been friends with Niels forever and they planned the whole thing through and the good guys win in the end, yay! One interesting thing to note though is that the red string appears in the first scene of the film already, the opera scene. Here the protagonist is almost killed but a mysterious person saves him. The only thing we see of him, yep, a red string. Turns out Neil was protecting the protagonist from the very beginning. This is also why Neil knows exactly what the protagonist wants to drink during the first meeting. Diet Coke. From Neil's point of view, they've been friends for years, and of course he knows what his mate's favorite drink is. The protagonist is very confused, as are we as the audience, but with hindsight, everything makes sense. There is one thing I'd like to mention about the red string, though. As a German speaker, I find it very interesting that Nolan chose this as a symbol for Neil. You see, in German, a red string, we call it a roter Faden, is a literary term for a symbol that leads us through a story, from the beginning to the very end. I find it very interesting, then, that Tenet's red string is a literal one. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week. See you.